Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sammy Ketchum, and welcome back to Sammy Ketchum TCG. Um, today, we are going to do a deck profile on the Unified Minds um, Picarom, or AKA Black Lightning for me. <laughs> um, as you can see right now, um, I don't have my normal tripod because um, um, I'm at work and I'm doing this deck profile and I'm holding it up while <laughs> while doing this. So <laughs> this will be interesting. <laughs> but nevertheless, we're going to do this video and get this up for you. Uh, um, um, this deck is this deck has changed like a little bit for Unified Minds. Um, it has like um, a couple of new cards in there that will basically make it even faster, even better than before, than the previous sets. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, first off, we have ourselves three Pika ROMs, Pikachu and Zeklum GXs. Um, of course, um, you all know um, Picarom's attack, full blitz for 150. Um, you can search your deck for three um, lightning energies and attach them to one of your bench Pokemon. And the GX attack, which is very favored in this, um, in this deck, um, Tag Bolt GX. If you have three extra energies attached to it, it does 170 damage to one of your bench Pokemon. So you can sit there and snipe a Dedenne GX on the bench, you know, which is really, really good. Um, yeah, Picarom is basically is basically favored to be one of the best decks for the world's format this coming up. Let's see that. Secondly, we have the new tag team that's in this deck. Um, Raichu and Alon Raichu GX, um, better known as Choo Choo GX. <laughs> All right. The first attack basically does um, 80. Um, if you, um, if this um, Pokemon was brought from the bench this turn, it does 80 more damage and paralyzes your opponent's Pokemon, which is very good. Um, since certain things like um, Guzma and um, Escape Rope are um, leaving the format, it's going to be harder to switch out your active Pokemon, which means paraliz paralyzation will pretty much stick unless you can find um, Countercatcher, which only a few decks could actually search them out in this format. Um, the GX attack, which is Lightning Ride GX, does 150 for three well, for two lightning, one colorless. Um, if it has two extra energies attached to it, it does a hundred more damage. You know, and I think, yeah, it does a hundred more damage. I think you switch it. Yeah, switch it with one of your bench Pokemon. So, yeah. But um, but yeah, this is this GX attack on here is actually going to probably be the go-to GX attack for the deck because you know getting energies on it is actually pretty easy with all the new cards in the deck um getting five energies is not that hard um so setting that up getting 250 off um if you add an electro power to there that's like 280 so you're basically one shotting um basically mostly all tag team pokemon all tag team pokemon that'll be relevant within the decks that are being played. So this is going to be very good in this deck. All right. Now we have two Zero Aura GX. Zero Aura GX is basically in here for its Thunderclap zone, its ability. And its ability says you basically, if you have an electric energy attached to any of your Pokemon, they have free retreat. So this is very, very good for retreating, switching out, getting out of the active. 
It works really well with um, Ride You and Ride You. Um, the Attack um, Plasma Fist is also very good for 160. Mm. It's actually kind of like a secondary attack for this deck, which is not bad at all. Um, the GX Attack, we probably really won't use that, but um, only costs one energy. If um, if you have five energies in your discard pile, you can attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Which is also which is decent, but you really don't want to use that GX attack in this game, because I mean we have other ways of energy acceleration through Pika Rom and like energy switch, tag switch, things like that. All right, we have ourselves. To the DNA GX. The DNA GX, um, it's in here is for its ability. Did a change. Um, when you play it from your hand, you can discard your hand and draw six cards, but you can only use this once per turn. Um, this is a very, very good draw support. Very good draw support. Um, so far, this is the only deck that plays like two or three. Um, in testing, I had three in here, but I went down to two because it was just way too much. It was just way too much. So yeah, but I dropped it down to two, and so far it's been working pretty well. Um, you know, both of the attacks on here, the GX attack and the main attack, both do 50 damage. Um, but the GX attack has the extra effect to paralyze, to paralyze your opponent. You know, and it returns to your hand. You know, but we barely will ever use the attacks on the DNA GX. Basically use them just for the draw support. Next up, we have Tapu Koko Prism Star. Tapu Koko Prism Star is in here for his Dance of the Ancients um, ability. It basically says that um, when it is on your bench, if you have two energies in your discard pile, you can remove this from play and put um, those two energies on two of your opponent, of two of your bench Pokemon. You know, so this is very, this is another part of the energy acceleration that you have in this deck. You know, which is very, very good. Um, we have one copy of Zapdos in here from Team Up. Um, its attack is Thunderous Assault. Um, it does 10 base. If this card is bought from your bench, it does 80 more damage this turn, which is very good. Um, I'm actually kind of skeptical about him because he may not be in the deck for too long. Um, in my testing and in the games that I've been playing with him, um, he really doesn't hit the numbers. You know, and and trying to two shot a Pokemon with with Zapdos, you know, it's kind of hard if um, the decks you're facing either heal or you know or you know or heal or go back to the deck or or treat or whatever. Because um, the reason why I say it won't be really useful anymore is because. Um, if they would treat the Pokemon or or heal the Pokemon, you know, finding counter catchers, you know, is gonna be very hard to like bring up bring back that Pokemon up and you know, to deal damage to it. You know. So I mean Pikaram could possibly do it because you can search out counter catchers with Volkner and things like that, but um but, um, you know, right now, right now he's in the deck. I'm going to do more testing with him to see how it goes. Um, on to the trainer's supporters. We have ourselves for Lily. Lily is basically good straight draw for this deck. Um, it's mainly played um, so you can get it off the first turn and draw up to eight cards. Yeah, I mean, on other turns, 
you probably won't use it as much. But, you know, but yeah, mainly for the mainly for the first term basically. Other than that, it's just it's just kind of okay. I think there are I think there is like another draw supporter card coming out in the next set that I may basically put in here. But um um I may may drop a lily or another supporter or two for maybe some copies of those. We'll see. Um, we have ourselves three Cynthia. Cynthia's in here, you know, you shuffle your hand into your deck, draw six. Self-explanatory, not bad. We have ourselves one copy of Erica's Hospitality. Um, yeah, um, I still have one in here because against most decks, you know, basically, um, your opponent will basically end up having a bench and if they end up having like a full bench you could take advantage of Erica because Erica says that if you have four or less cards in your hand you can draw up to the number of you draw up to the number of cards equal to the number of Pokemon on your opponent's bench you know so um, yeah I only have one in here because two of the main decks that people will be playing well well, one of the main decks that people will be playing is Green's Reshizard. And if you're facing Green's Reshizard with this deck, with this card, this card is going to be useless against them because Green's Reshizard doesn't really have a bench. So, you know. Then we have ourselves for Volkner. Volkner basically says you can search your deck for an energy and an item card or a trainer card and add it to your hand. Which in this deck, it is very, very good. This card becomes very, very good when Unified Minds comes out. You can search for Electro Power. You can search for Tag Switch. You can search for Reset Stamp. You can search for Pokemon Communication. So many great items you could search for with this card. You can search for electromagnetic um, radar. Like like all your items you can search for. Like like if you like if you have if you already have a counter catcher in your hand and you need one more counter catcher to pull up your opponent's Pokemon, you can play Volkner, go get the one counter catcher, and then play the two counter catchers and bring up your opponent's Pokemon. This is so good, ladies and gentlemen. Like, this is, this is one of the reasons why Pikaram will be strong for Worlds. It is so good. Like, like if, if, if you're playing any other Pikaram build, I don't see why you would not be playing four Vogners. Next up, we have ourselves four Electro Power. All right. Electro Power basically boosts the attacks of your electric Pokemon by 30 damage. Um, so if you're hitting for 150, you can hit for 180, or 210, or 240, or 270, if you wanted to, if you wanted to keep going up like that. Or let's just say you're hitting with Choo Choo GX's GX attack, and you have five energies on it. And it does 250. If you're going up against a Reshizard, all you need is one Electro Power. And you knock out that Reshizard because that's 280. This is so good when you play it at the right time. And, and you're going to need to play these at the right time to knock out your, po knock out your opponent's Pokemon when you need to. Next up, we have ourselves for Custom Catcher. Custom Catcher basically replaces Guzma, but you can only basically use the use these together when when you play them in twos. When you play them in twos, you can basically bring up your opponent's Pokemon from the bench. You know, you can switch out your opponent's Pokemon, which is very good. You basically want to use this when you're about to knock them out. You know. 
Um, you can use a single copy of it. Um, basically let you draw until you have three cards. But, you know, very rarely you would do that. Um, um, in decks like Picaram and Reshizard, these are like easy to find with Green Search and with um, Volkner. Um, in other decks, it's not gonna be as easy to find them. So they're gonna need to basically have a very good draw engine to find them. Um, but this is gonna be, this is basically gonna be the standard go-to in all decks for copies of Custom Catcher. Um, right now, I am testing three copies of Energy Switch. Um, energy Switch basically just switches one of the energy um, cards attached to your Pokemon to another one of your Pokemon, which is very good. Still very good in this deck, you know, especially after you use Full Blitz. All right. Here's another new card from Unified Minds, um, Tag Switch. Tag Switch basically says you can basically move two energies from your Tag Team Pokemon to another one of your Pokemon. This is very, very, very good, especially in this deck. After you use Full Blitz and after you attach three energies to another Pokemon, you can move either the energies from your active or the one you use Full Blitz on to another one of your Pokemon. This is going to be so good. And it makes um, Raichu and Alarm Raichu that much better. All right, we have ourselves two copies of Electromagnetic Radar. Um, this card is so good for this deck. It basically says you can um, discard two cards from your hand and search your deck for two um, EX or GX poke EX mm, EX or GX electric Pokemon and add them to your hand. So you could basically add a Dedenne GX or Zero Aura GX. Um, you can add um, Choo Choo GX and a Picaram to your hand. Just like two of any GX Pokemon basically in standard to your hand. This is so good. This is so busted. Like, this is another reason why Picaram will be good going forward. Because it has a, basically its own basic search engine. We have ourselves two copies of Pokemon Communication. Um, basically, it says that you can switch one of the Pokemon in your hand for a Pokemon in your deck. You know, um, it's basically in here because you don't have you don't have a way to search out the um, the Tapacoco Prism Star or the Zapdos. So this will help you find the Zapdos and the Prism Star within your deck, you know, which is, which is very good. You know, this is basically one of the only ways you can search them out. Other basics other than GX Pokemon. Here's a new card from Unified Minds, um, Stadium Navi or Stadium Navigation. Um, basically it says you flip two coins for each heads, you basically search your deck for a stadium card. This card is busted. This card is so busted in this deck. So you flip two. Basically, basically, 90% um, of the time, you're going to at least get one heads. And if you get one heads with this, you can search out Thunder Mountain. So basically, you sit there, you play a Volkner, you go get this, and then you play it, you flip two, one of them's heads, you search for Thunder Mountain. So now you have easy access to Thunder Mountain. Another card that Volkner can search out. This is so good. This is so good. Like. We have ourselves two reset stamps. Um, reset Stamp is basically going to be really, really good in this next set coming up. It basically says that um, you shuffle your opponent's hand into their deck 
and they draw cards equal to the number of prizes they have. This is going to be so good in the mid to late game. If they've taken three prizes or knocked out a tag team, you can basically make them put their hand back into their deck and draw three cards. Or if they have two prizes, you make them draw two cards or one. This basically can turn the tide in any game. This card is going to be sick. And, and basically everybody's going to play it, play at least two or three even in their deck. You could say this basically replaces Mars Shadow, but this is going to be even more devastating than Mars Shadow. Because after you reset stamp them, you could possibly win the game off of you getting reset stamped. We have one copy of Cherish Ball. Basically what Cherish Ball says is that you can search your deck for um, GX Pokemon and add it to your hand. This is very good for GX search. Um, I'm only playing one in here because I have um, electromagnetic radar to search out my GX Pokemon. You know, and that searches out all my GX Pokemon. But if if I was playing a deck that didn't have electromagnetic radar in it, I would be playing at least four Cherish Balls. This is so good for Pokemon search for GXs. Um, we have ourselves two copies of Lysander's Labs. Um, basically what this does, it says that um, Pokemon two cards in play, both yours and your opponents, have no effect. Um, I'm actually, I really want to take this out of my deck. Like, I do not want to play this card because going forward so far, there are really no really good Pokemon tool cards that are out. You know, like, like there are no Pokemon tool cards being played in any deck. Except maybe, maybe Spell Tag, maybe, and maybe Giant Bomb. But even then, those, those, those tools are not even good right now. Like, nobody's playing Pokemon tools. So if you play this stadium, it's basically useless. The only reason you would play it is to counter another stadium. And, and I want to find a better stadium for this deck. So I'm going to say this right now. This is coming out of here. But I'm going to find another stadium to put in here. So that when I replace another stadium, I could have like a useful, a use for it. A use for it or something. So yeah, this is coming out of here. But for right now, it's just a placeholder. And then to round out the stadiums, we have Thunder Mountain. Thunder Mountain is so broke because it basically makes your turns faster. Um, all your electric Pokemon's attacks cost one electric less. Um, basically, it makes Picarom's GX attack and its regular attack cost two instead of three. Um, and even and even the extra damage, not the extra damage, but the extra energy on it, it makes it five instead of six, you know. Or on um, on Choo Choo GX's attack, it makes that four instead of five, which is really good. So yeah, this is just busted for this deck. And then we have ourselves. 12 lightning energies to energize your Pokemon, which is very good. Just standard, just a standard number for people. Um, all right, guys, um, that is the deck. Um, that is the deck. Tell me um, how you like it. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe. And make sure you look out for our other Unified Minds videos that will be coming up shortly within, within the upcoming weeks. Um, I'm Sammy Ketchum. And as always, make sure you take care of yourself and each other. Thank you.